So guys, I was actually just about to start working on the new Star Wars Clone Wars episode video and the thought just occurred to me. I didn't make a list for what I believe are the best to worst Star Wars films from the original and the prequel trilogy. I, I don't know how I missed this, but I didn't do it. So now I'm going to do it and this is going to be my list, guys. Now remember, this is all my opinion. Yours might be very different from mine. But no fighting, no arguing, please, let's just keep it cordial here, all right? So let's go straight into it. We're gonna start from the worst. So, for me, the worst of the Star Wars films. I know some of you might disagree, but I know a lot of you probably won't. Episode one. Oh man, episode one, boy, where do I begin? This one was probably, no, definitely, the most boring of the Star Wars films from George Lucas himself. I know this is the introduction and they want to show you these characters and these are the characters you're supposed to be attached to and you know these characters are eventually going to grow on you but episode one man it was it was just too heavy on the politics man I'm telling you it was way too heavy on the politics there was not that much action there wasn't enough action like we watched Star Wars for space battles and saber combat. Let's be honest, do a lot of us really care about the politics? I know that politics play a big factor as to why certain characters are the way they are, but they just went too much in the detail. Like, it was just boring to watch. But I did love the pod racing. I did like Anakin in it. I did tell you guys that Anakin was a great part of the film. I thought that kid played him very nicely. And I liked Anakin. Like, I liked him, and the pod racing was great. Some of the acting was great, but a lot of the characters fell flat for me. Qui-Gon was very, very boring. Obi-Wan was also kind of boring. Darth Maul was cool, but he wasn't really in it that much, you know? And, and a lot of the characters just, just wasn't really feeling episode one. So episode one for me would be at the very bottom. Then moving up, this one might be a surprise, but moving up to number five spot would be Star Wars Attack of the Clones. Now, I did say that I did enjoy this movie, and I really did. But after I did some thinking about it, I was wondering, did I like the movie because it was so great or did I like it because episode one was so boring? Because I honestly can't put this movie above any of the other ones. I can't. It's a good movie, but it's just not as good as the other ones. Anakin was cool. Oh no, I'll be honest. Anakin was cringy. He was very, very weird and awkward. The dialogue was super, super weird. But they did make up for the lack of action from the first one. There was a lot more action. There was a lot more combat. I liked Obi-Wan in this film. That This film was when Obi-Wan was starting to grow on me. You see the relationship between Obi-Wan and Anakin forming. And you see that they're much closer than what we would have thought. Anakin's much older too. You start to see a little bit more of Yoda. And you see Yoda fight in this film, which is pretty cool. Then you see Anakin lose his arm, which still, still blows my mind how that happened. And then the clones are introduced, Mace Windu. I love Jango Fett. Jango Fett was amazing to me in this film. And it just, it felt like a good movie. But again, I cannot put it above the other ones. So that's gonna be my number five spot. Now, moving into number four. I really can't pick between these two. But, I mean, like, this spot is four and three, okay? Coming in at four and three, no order. Like, you could flip-flop them for me. I'm gonna go with episode five and episode three. I know a lot of the older Star Wars fans believe that original trilogy is the greatest of the Star Wars trilogy, which, I mean, it probably is. I don't, actually, it, it definitely is, but I just, I can't pick between three and five. Three is so good. Hayden Christensen does such an amazing job with Anakin, but it's just the story was just so depressing, man. It really broke my spirit, man. Like, you guys saw me at the end of my movie reaction. I did not look like myself. I didn't feel like myself. And five, five was good, but to me, it just wasn't as good as four and six. I don't know what it was. Actually, I'm gonna tell you guys something because I did explain this to my friend and he said that this is probably what it was. Since there's so many jokes made about I am your father and the twist of Darth Vader being Luke's father has been spoiled to so many of the new people because it's like such a meme nowadays. So it didn't really impact me. I know when it first came out, a lot of people were probably shot. No, I wasn't surprised. I wasn't like, oh my God, he's really his father. Like, nah, it wasn't like that. So. I think it being spoiled 
and made into so many jokes over the years kind of ruined that aspect of the film for me. And I believe my friend, because in the beginning, the movie started out amazing. You guys know Luke is my favorite character. I loved how the movie started. I loved the development between Han and Luke. I love seeing Luke leaving Dagobah and then rushing to go save his friends. I love seeing his training. I love seeing Leia interact with Luke. I love the entire movie. Episode five is so incredibly great, but it's just, I can't, I can't say it's better than, I can't say it's better than three. To me, they're like the same. And I cannot say it's better than four and six. So that's where I got those two. Then we're moving into the number two spot. <sighs> number two, even though I love so many scenes, I gotta say the number two spot goes to episode six. Episode six is so incredibly great. It literally had me smiling the whole film through. I love that movie. It is so, so good. The music, the writing, the pacing, the characters, the develop. Oh my god, episode so I'm gonna rewatch it like soon. I'm really gonna rewatch it soon. It's so good. And I remember after I watched it, I went and told my friend at work, because he wanted me to watch it so quickly. So I told him about it. And I was just like, bro, that is probably the best Star Wars movie that they've ever made. Like it's so incredibly great. And you guys know me. When Luke pulled out the green lightsaber, oh my god, man, that, man, I love Luke Skywalker so much. He's my favorite character, man. Luke is just, ugh, I can talk about this movie all day. You guys saw me when I was watching it, and I was like, yo, the music is really good in this. Like, the soundtrack was, was really good, especially at the end, and they're playing the music with the Ewoks. Like, oh, man, the music was great. Luke saving Vader, Luke saving the galaxy, Vader making a turnaround. Oh, my God, that movie is so good. I did see the version that was slightly edited where they had Vader scream like no when he picked up Palpatine. I don't know why they would put that in there. I guess for more dramatic effect, it just sounded very, very awkward to me. But I still thought it was a great movie. And I, like, I've said this to you guys. I acknowledge that that is probably the best Star Wars film. But my favorite, number one, is Star Wars Episode Four. Hope. Oh my god, where do I begin with this film? This film literally put me on the path to Star Wars, but that's not even why I love the movie. The main reason I love the movie is because the introduction of Luke Skywalker and the journey that he is set on. Luke literally encompasses everything I love in a character. A character who comes from nothing and builds his way up into something that he should and is supposed to be. A character who doesn't even realize what is out there for him, what is out there waiting for him. And he's just so confined on one planet, he's so confined to school, he's confined to his regular basic boring life, but he wants more than that and more is just outside the door. All he needed was a push to get him on that path. Unfortunately, the push for him was he had to lose his aunt and his uncle. That sucks, but you guys gotta remember, one thing that a lot of main characters go through is sacrifice or loss. A lot of main characters, that is usually what drives them to get things done and to be the person they're supposed to be. Look at Goku from Dragon Ball. You know what his sacrifice and loss was? His grandpa, he was gone. And then it set Goku on a journey to, to do great things. Look at Spider-Man, he lost Uncle Ben set him on a journey to become Spider-Man. Like for like Luke is just, in terms of like my favorite characters of all time, Luke is up there like, like two or something like that. Like Luke is probably like right next to Vegeta. I'm telling you guys, Luke is real like, since I've been on this Star Wars journey, that character, like you guys see the poster right there. I love Luke Skywalker, bro. He's amazing. Episode four is so well written. It is so great. Obi-Wan coming to train Luke and then Obi-Wan sacrificing himself so Luke could see like this is the path of the dark side. There's no redemption for these people here. He did that in a sense to motivate Luke as well as to give Vader his victory. Like, okay, you beat me, but here's what's gonna happen. He's the next one coming up to take my place. It's just, it's so perfect, man. And you guys know I asked a lot of questions. I caught on to a lot of things. It is just a great movie. It's so weird how I've never seen Star Wars before because it just wasn't interesting to me, but now it's like, 
it's like one of my favorite franchises, man. It's so great. I love Luke Skywalker, guys. I can't, I can't say that enough. If it, I'll tell you guys this: if Luke Skywalker was not in Star Wars, I probably would not have enjoyed it because every other character, aside from Star Killer, but he's not in the movies. We're talking about the movies specifically. Every other character does not have the impact on me that Luke Skywalker does. I don't know what it is. Like Luke is just, he's just amazing. That's my ranking of all the six Star Wars films made by Lucas. Before we go into the new ones, I just wanted to do this video real quick just so we could discuss it. And I wanna know what you guys think about my ranking. Do you guys agree? Do you guys disagree? But remember, make sure you are all being respectful. I want you guys to drop your rankings down below of your favorite films in order, or it doesn't have to be in order, but I prefer it to be in order just so I can see what you guys think and let me know what you guys think of my list. So. Make sure you guys leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to share, share, share that video because we're on the road to a thousand subscribers, guys. <sighs> I'm going to go watch episode six probably this week. <laughs> That's all I got.